Okay, so today is officially booby day. I'm going to be looking at all these submissions here. Um, my delay today was because I was I had to do the apprentice uh, uh, critique hour um, for this month's assignment, or last month's assignment. And um, uh, so if you want to be a part of that, join on Patreon and join as an apprentice. If you want to join in on the, the, the private streams and take notes and be a part of the homework. Um, and get those assignments as well as the other rewards. So if anyone's interested in that, you can find me on Patreon. And then there are a couple of other announcements. Um, so open link in the tab. I'm sorry, I've completely lost. Like my access to my brain is very minimal today. Um, the assignment, the challenge, uh, I sent out an uh, uh, announcement. <laughs> oh God, uh, last yesterday or the day before. Um, you know, my face has an, an announcement to make. Um, so uh, I talked about the upcoming sale on October for those who are interested in buying Portrait Studio, which I'll be using today. Um, Abu is currently working on a, a developer update for you guys, a little video uh, that he's narrating, um, talking about all the new changes for the upcoming update for Portrait Studio. But the sale is starting October 1st. I will just be announcing it from here until October 1st, so everyone gets uh, uh, the news on that. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, what was I saying? It'll last for two weeks. Uh, but the assignment for the, the challenge assignment, the community assignment, has already come out. The uh, character environment integration challenge. Uh, please read through it. If you are interested in joining, the, the winners get uh, um, final owners of this challenge will be offered my brush sets, a free copy of Forsha Studio, private tutoring sessions and art supplies and much more. The f semi-final winners, I'm sorry that's a bit confusing, you guys will be put up on a poll or I will choose uh, from the semi-final winners either a second place or first place um, and they will be my new student. Um, so uh, yeah, join in, it's really fun, it's a full render illustration um, and uh, it'll uh, kind of be extended into October, I think, because we already have like less than, or three weeks, um, one, two, three, yeah, just three weeks uh, until we, four weeks, until we do the the day, um, which is uh, going to be on Tuesday. The 2nd of October will be the critique hour meet for this challenge, if I don't extend it into October. I do want to explore the creepy creature challenge with you guys this year. Um, uh, that's that's going to be a full illustration too, a creepy creature and their environment, which is really fun. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just go on this announcement. It's pinned at the top of the community wall, and I will, uh, I will I'll try my best to answer your questions there. And um, the announcement number two is this Thursday. Uh, I'll be looking at gestures. So if you guys want to try some gestures, try some jumping gestures, running gestures, fighting gestures, gestures in perspective, that will be the stuff I look for on Thursday. If no one hands anything in, I can't do that class. I'm not going to be running that class if there's no homework handed in. So if anyone has, has difficulty with gestures, with line efficiency, doesn't know what to do with their lines, has no idea how to start a gesture or finish it, anatomy issues, try some homework for Thursday and we'll have a whole other session for that. Um, and that's it. I'm so sorry. I'm a bit like distant right now. I'm even distant from myself. It's hard to access myself at this moment. It's really weird. Um, just had a really stressful summer, extremely stre stressful, as you guys have already, um, uh, 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 as I've already told you guys. <laughs> Let's get started. Also, my tablet is still not working. I had to disable some functions. I'm not sure why. It's not the pen because it's fully charged. It's not the driver, but I won't know until Huion responds. Um, uh, they either respond with a new tablet or, uh, or I order one and wait for it to ship in. Um, Let's take a look at boobies. So, when we're studying boobies, beginner artists, without depending too much on reference, because some of you here really, really did some photo referencing for, the, for this challenge, uh, which I don't like. Um, I like to see that you guys are taking independent move movements away from photo referencing that closely, so that you can yield results even when you're not dependent on a reference. Uh, yielding results entails knowing the patterns of shadows on an organic object that is of low density, which is what boobs are. They're low density, they're not muscle or bone, they're a bit of fat and a bit of fluid, and they are skin. So they have that matte texture as well as all of the gravity um, signatures. Pull downward pull of gravity is very visible with breasts. 
a lot of you draw breasts without these signatures. I'm going to talk about how to keep them in and how to look out for them. But before we talk about what boobs are, what are boobies, um, we have to talk about the torso. What is a human first? So when we're looking at breasts and we're drawing boobies, we have to think of the breasts as not there beforehand. Torso, the structure of the torso has to be intact. So I'm opening up Portrait Studio so that we can uh, take a look here. Okay. I, uh, all right, so there's no right click without Alt. Pressing Alt gets you the rotation. So I'm going to right click, um, hide joints. Why is it left click? Why isn't it right click for con controls? Anyway, uh, hide joints and look at the torso. So the torso is what we would call the cube here in this case. So what we have to think about is the torso as let's just choose the most one of the most difficult perspectives for breasts. I'll choose the top side and take a screenshot. The screenshotter is right here, but I'll just take a cropped screenshot and bring it over. Alright, so what I look for in your homework is this side right here that you guys never have. This side pushes forward the breast area. I also like to show you guys that the breasts are an elevation outside the torso's elevation. That the torso ends, the torso is a base, so if we were to show how much torso we have with the, with the color code here, with the purple and how much boob we have, all the blue is elevation and all the pink or the purple is the ground level. You guys forget about this. You guys forget that this is an entire ground level that can capture light. This entire, entire area is exposed to the light just as much. Also, you guys forget that this is a perfect seam. This is all a gradient. The purple color here mixes in almost seamlessly at the top. There is no extreme cut unless there is some external factor for naturally uh, falling breasts or minimal like gear. Uh, the breasts should seem perfectly in with the elevation, which is going to be the blue, radially ascending. Yeah, my, tab my, my pen tablet is ex really finicky right now, at least the pen pressure is working. Alright, so the more blue it gets, the higher the elevation. And that's the radial shading. It's hard to, to illustrate this to you with black and white, because then it's just, you know, shades again. So what I have to do is show you guys this with color, with pigment. So I'm radially applying the saturated, the most saturated areas of the breast. And all of this seems back in. When you have this much of a gradient between the chest, the chest bone, and the breast, you have no lines up here. But what, what do you guys do? You guys not only create a seam here, but you bring in a line, which is the biggest mistake I think that you guys do. Also, you think of breasts symbolically, which goes back to the line. All your breasts have invisible corsets that are not really there, but at the same time causing this really, really big bump. You also have this outward shape to, this, to, the, to the breast. The breast is a water balloon. Imagine a water balloon full of water, all right? And it's, the water is welling towards the gravity. It's pointing towards gravity. We have lots of signatures here. First signature is the downward C shape. That's pointing towards gravity. Like curly hair would point to gravity or um, that was a, <laughs> like curly hair points to gravity or like, oh my God, I have to edit that out. You guys are way too mature as well as, I'm, as, as I am. So yes, like hair is, is um, susceptible to gravity or <laughs> clothing is susceptible to gravity. It always points down towards gravity. Uh, breasts are very similar. So we're talking about low density objects without a structure to them, without a concrete, concrete structure to them. Another big signature for breasts, my, my tablet's jumping around, 
um, is the inward C shape at the top. So what you guys do not do is you don't do this. You don't do this inward shape. So the, the model has a very specific kind of geometric or origin shape, but for more natural looking breast, you really need to show the pull of gravity. Right, and that's in that C shape moving down. So breasts still technically point up, and by pointing up, they're really just talking about the nipple area. All right, the nipple area has to also show that we are moving down, that the object is moving down the carrier. So we don't show the seam. Get rid of the seam and show the downward C and the inward C towards the top, and that's how you have breasts. And separate them from the torso. So a lot of the breasts that we're seeing here today don't have that. If we go back to Porch's studio, we tried to keep the breasts as, as uh, normal as possible with the light shining from the top, from the side. As you can see, that line is not there. It's also a matter of how we built the polygon of the breasts, how we had to separate the shape from the shape. Typically, we would have in, liked to have a model that was skin and uh, easy to pose even with skin, but we had to work with plates. Okay, so the, the real shadow, the real seam is not moving all the way up here. All of this is one value. And then you have the inner chest area. Okay, and then when we're, obviously when we're done this, we have to blend. So this is all considered a block, 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 block block, block, and then the inner block here. All right, so that's with drawing breasts. That's with breasts as a theory. What about rendering breasts? As you can see, no matter where we move the, 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 the light in this, uh, so let me choose a really strong light direction. There is always a core shadow and a cast shadow. You have to have your core shadow. Because the core shadow is on a dome, though, a dome is very, very susceptible to bounce light. So your guys are always missing the terminator line and the bounce light. So what have we listed so far? Can anyone list the requirements for drawing breasts so far? We have the inner C, inner C shape and the outer C shape. We have no seam at the top seaming perfectly back in. We have the space in between the, the, the breasts for, the, for the, the torso and the chest area. Then we have the cast shadow and the core shadow, and then we have the bounce light. When we dress, when we, when we no longer work with outlines or diagram and we start dressing the outline with light, light dresses the form, we have to think about the direction of the light source. All right, and we have to stop treating the chest or the breasts as boobies because then you're going to start drawing symbolically and you're going to forget about the core shadow. At the end of the day, all our objects past their subject matter were uh, objects where it had a native shape to them. But all of these things are missing here, at least in this breast that we're looking at. We don't really have... core shadow intact. This seam is on the top, not on the side, on the top. That's not good. We're getting rid of that. There's no downward C shape or up uh, the inward C shape to the breasts. That inward C shape just like that. And they're not even breaching the torso. They're in three-quarter view. Look at the belly button. But they're not breaching the torso, so they're not outside of the torso. Oh, God. Okay. Just like that. I'm doing what I can with this drawing here. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Then we have the blending of the top and the bottom. And we have the radial shading, which is the elevation that slowly occurs, not right away. We have to have a defined core shadow presence, though. Climbing upward. And then we've got, sometimes we have a little indentation for the belly area. The breasts are not in perspective at all in this piece. And then we've got the space in between the breasts. 
Then, most importantly, we have a space, a stretch of bounce light, leaving behind a terminator line. It's not just a line of bounce light, it's a full-on like space. See that? All those requirements I listed. Again, so can anyone um, repeat that for me? Can anyone repeat that list we just covered? All of the things that I applied just now. You see how much easier the body is than the face. The face has so many conditions to it. It's got character and expression. It's got symmetry. It's got, it's got a lot of stuff that you have to understand with technical knowledge of form, like folds and edges. And all of that is happening on the face. But when it comes to the body, the body is a lot less diverse with its instances for fundamentals. It's a very, very general, universal way of memorizing all of these forms. You do an organic study enough times, you can draw breasts of all shapes and sizes, as well as arms and legs of all shapes and sizes. As long as you're building a good habit and awareness for the direction of the light source, it's not such an alien territory for you to throw a big cast shadow right here in the middle of the painting. And there's always the challenge of fighting your symbol dependency. You have to get in with some references. You have to respect your reference, not just go doing willy-nilly with your ego. Don't draw with your ego. Trust your reference and don't don't see it as okay completely letting go and letting your reference decide every pixel decide every pixel you have to understand the signatures of form when you're looking at an, uh, an organic shape so what do i do with my brush i enlarge my brush when i'm dealing with large fat pockets when i'm dealing with geometric areas you bring out your blocking brush okay so i'm just going to um cover up the face I don't want it to be a character design today, just about anatomy. And um, carrying that shadow for the breasts all the way up. And this top part of the breast is catching the light. So I need a list. I need a list of all the changes I made. Double C, lower and upper. Don't use line dependency for the upper crease, the cleavage, shade between the base and the boobs, cast and coarse shadow. Shade or light, Antoine, um, and show the gravitational pull. Uh, the rest come away from the torso base and should go past the torso line. Bounce light, terminator line, inward and up under, C shape, remove top seam, radial shading. Um, excellent, remove top seam, inward C curve, radial shading, elevation, core shadows, cast shadows, bounce light, terminator. What you have to do in order to draw better breasts is that you have to. Um, show that they're squishy, that they're being pulled down. Those are the breasts that look good. There is the, 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 no, an, an accurate presence of the nipple area, but I, I wouldn't really work too hard on identifying exactly how to draw perfect nipples. Most of the times these breasts will be affected by external factors, so there will still be uh, clothing that you'll have to draw on, but it's good to know how to draw a female, female body. Um, it's kind of one of the most drawn things as well as a female altogether. So yeah, Abu's uh, actually um, linking you guys a discount code for, Port for Portrait Studio for anyone interested. The C shape here, you can get Portrait Studio right now at a, at a discount code price that Abu has up, but you can also wait for like a completely 50% off if that discount code isn't really helping. I know school is starting for a lot of you guys and you guys have tuition and all of that that sale, please wait for it if you want a copy of Portrait Studio. So the C shape, what I'm doing is I'm doing it here. See that? That's the inward indentation. Look, that's the C shape, but in a shadow version. So 100% feed, and I'm radially building up and unifying the chest light with the top of the breasts. Okay. The arm, the way you drew the face, the way you drew the body, this is way too advanced to study for you right now, Mr. Boob Study. You need to get into some form studies. You need to understand the basic cues of edges and contrast and when to use your brush for what purpose. 
You are having, you are trying way more than what you know how to do. You are trying to do things you don't know how to do right now, which is why it's resulting in a complete fail. Um, excessive size on the shoulder leads to a male read. Very, very inaccurate arm and hand proportions. The expression was off, it read as a male. The thickness of the neck, neck read as a male. It's a good story that you're telling. Don't lose that. Don't lose sight of the story. Don't lose sight of the spirit you have here. But you need some referencing, some practice, repetition, and stop trying to make masterpieces is uh, what I need to tell you. All right. Let's move on to the other breast study. Okay, so what's missing here is you have the inner C shape and the, un the, the lower C shape, but what's happening is that your core shadow is mixing with your cast shadow, and so you've completely lost the presence of the, the edge of the boob in front of the lower torso. The breast has moved, breast has moved down on top. Okay, so the nipple in this area, to see how much of a distraction it is when you draw it too early. I need to make sure that the breast has reached past the torso and move down. The nipple also has to represent the this downward pull. All right, and we're moving down, and there's no edge down here. And no really strong C shape. I'm going to tuck in the C shape a bit more and make it so that the entirety of the breast is kind of like collected into one area. All right, so we've identified the core shadow. I'm going to talk about the cast shadow. The cast shadow needs to just point to a light direction. Once we decide where the light is, then we know how far up to travel this halfway shadow. So the core shadow is a really tricky thing. Not everyone knows where to put a core shadow, not even some professionals, because it's a it goes all the way back to the you know the original native kind of understanding of form. Core shadows are tricky. Placing that space in here. If that space looks too light, that's because the sides of the breasts you drew were too dark. Combining these areas here together, and I'm getting rid of this outline. Halfway shadow, identifying where the core shadow is. Apart from the breasts, your anatomy is way off. You don't have an indicator here for the torso uh, rib cage. She's bending, but there's no real indication of a fold happening in her body. The belly button is not conforming to the shape of the, the body as it twists. There's no hip presence here or hip bone. The whole breast area is a little bit high. It's all about that downward swell to really make breasts look realistic. Also, realistic breasts are asymmetrical breasts, so go for that little bit of asymmetry. It's not a lot, but it's just enough that they have a bit of a, like one flop into the side and the other kind of checking a guy out and they, these, these boobies are out of control. Okay, so you have before, really nondescript body, almost prepubescent, and after we kind of have bit, a bit more of a presence here, but I have to edit this torso area. So it's a bit of a sensitive topic today, so anyone immature in the audience should uh, <clears throat> be modded a little extra. Um, I imagine there's a lot of boys in the audience right now. Okay, so see that downward swell and that kind of natural lop to the to the to the boob. Alright. It's all forms it's all form study. Breast is just a form study. Write that back to me. So this breast from the side is really easy to determine as in front of the torso. How do we show that here? We have to make sure we have that edge and the edge 
this shadow, this line I'm using, is not for the inside of the breast. It's meant to be blended outside. And then this little coarse shadow bit right here. Okay, this nipple, this, this is why it's in the way. Just get rid of it until you're done the body of the breast. Just get rid of it. It's just in the way. I'll show you where to place it. The top part of the breast needs to be lighter. So lighten this top half just like that. And then that radial shade. It's not much as, as needed. Sometimes you'll have breaks in the in the chest area that just mimic the bones of the, of the chest, but that's for really underweight characters. You should have a little bit of fat in that area. And I'm just starting off the cast shadow as much thinner because this here is a fold. There are different size breasts, so I'm going for a very general size. Some creep posted something on the community saying that he really likes Estebrax nip, I mean dimples. If you talk to me like that, if you think you can make jokes like that on my community, you, you're going to get kicked and you're going to get kicked fast. If the only thing that you respond with when I show my face is to be a fucking creep, you're going to get kicked the fuck out of my community. I didn't show my face so creeps like you can talk about my nip, I mean my dimples. All right, because that's not funny and you weren't funny. Creeps like you are why I delayed showing my face for so long. Get the heck away from my community if all you can do is disrespect me. I'm all knowledge, all day. All right? I didn't enter this earth so that you can look at me like that. I entered this earth so I can teach and share my knowledge. You creep. You fucking creep. You're such a creep. Whoever you are, I've blocked your, I blocked your submission. Don't, you're not welcome in my community if you don't know how to respect me, as a woman and as a teacher. All right. And if you're here right now, you can get lost. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't, I didn't delay showing my face for so long so I can be flirted with just like that on my community. The audacity to think he can post something on my community, me as the authority of the community, and him referring to the authority's nipples. Classy. Real classy. Go to hell. This is my community. I make the rules here. If I want to wreck you, I will wreck you. As uh, according to your, you know, in proportion to, your, to, to what you did. As a proportionate response. I'm hood. Don't mess with me. I really am. <laughs> I'm a bit hood nowadays. And I've had a really bad month. Last thing I need is another male making funny little male jokes. Right, so the breasts, like imagine a ball and imagine a star on the ball and you've rotated the star and rotated the ball, sorry. The star will be revealing the contours of the shape on top. All right, so it reveals the contour of the sphere. See how this straight, one straight line is now a spherical line? So the same thing with the sphere. Imagine the star, but as a circle. This, the, the, the star, or the circle in this case, will have more of an oval shape, right? And it'll kind of reveal the top of the, of the object. So it's less of a perfect circle and more of a compressed circle that also has a bit of a circular top to it. So the breast, a uh, nipple, should be revealing more of the, of the sphere there. And for the, all the other features, the nipple itself has a bit of an elevation. And then it's got another piece on top <clears throat> that has a bit of an elevation. It's not really, you know, that important to memorize exactly how to draw a perfect nipple unless that's what your portfolio is all about. But just as long as you understand the general gist of it. And the nipples don't really start right away. They, they kind of taper in. Nipples cast a shadow. And be careful with the cast shadow. Even if she's darker, start light. If you're darkening skin, start light and darken as you go. Because if it's too dark, then you don't really have the usual cues that you need to be aware of when to taper and when not to. And then there is the fact that skin is shiny. So there are areas in the skin that are 
really, really shiny, catching some light. This is the shine, this is the specular quality of the breasts. He says, he said nipples, but he said, oh, uh, I meant dimples, is what he said. Yes, I am quoting him exactly. He said, I love Istabrax nipple, I mean dimples, is what he said. He was going to say my nipples, and then he complimented my dimples. I'm sitting here fucking pouring knowledge into this community, and I'm not going to stand for even one creep, because one creep is all it takes. All right? Don't see me as a girl, as a girl uh, streamer. See me as a boy. See me as a man. See me as the manliest man you've ever seen. <clears throat> okay, so zooming out. And I'm just going to darken the whole area. It's supposed to be darker skin, so I'm just now addressing that. And the breasts look a lot more natural. Less seam towards the top, but there is a seam, just like the nose bridge without any value sharing. See that? That's the elevation against the torso. Sometimes it'll mix in if the female has a bit of a higher fat to her. She has more fat. Sometimes if the fat is gone, you, there's the seam is there, but it's very delicate. There's no value sharing. <clears throat> no, being feminine doesn't take away knowledge. In fact, it's giving me more knowledge, but just imagine, imagine me as a guy, all right? What you wouldn't say to a guy, you wouldn't say to me, is what I'm trying to explain. <clears throat> all right let's talk about this character here so this is what i mean by value sharing you've used the core shadow color as well as the cast shadow color all the way up here what's it doing up here what's going on up here if you had arrows projecting from the tops of the breasts moving up revealing where the the plane is looking this entire plane from this point out because of the halfway point the light is from the top is all looking up at the light the shadow has no business here your value sharing just like the sides of the nose you guys value share with the sides of the breasts they only need so much shadow to indicate that they're there and again with the with the with the chest area right here with this chest area so I'm going to show you with my blocking brush what the exact contour line is. It's right here. See that? Everything above this line I'm going to edit out. And then I'm going to smudge it so that we have this uh, contour representation. The shape of the anatomy, the whole setup over here is a little bit kind of out of control you as well are in a position to do some character designs definitely not a masterpiece until you've done some stomach studies or some studies on on just form just form studies organic studies so that you have a better idea of what you're representing over here because your anatomy is a bit off i mean a lot off i'm just being nice okay she's very skinny she's tribal you have none of the other ma major core shadows present in the torso and stomach area. So the entire torso, remember this, casts a shadow on the entire body, on the lower half of the torso. So the entire torso, there's a big cast shadow on the entire lower half, just because the torso is on top. Okay, so the top of the stomach is darker. If it's a you know an overweight person, if they have a bit of a chunk down there, then that shadow will be relieved because there's an outward motion in the contours. All right, and just for pushing it a little bit further, and I'm, I am trying to go for that tribal ge National Geographic boob here, just showing more of that downward shape. And the nipples sit comfortably right there somewhere, contouring with the breasts okay this breast feels bigger than this one so in order to just match the size we're just expanding vertically make sure that the breasts are sitting on a symmetry line all right Just like that are a little bit higher kind of
turned away from the camera. Essentially, if there was a laser coming out of the nipples, is it pointing at the camera or is it looking away? Okay. Yeah, the arm does look like it has no bones. Again, this, car this artist here should really take uh, some time to study the female body as a diagram as a as a group of muscles as a gesture as a collection of skeleton and then dress up uh, dress it all up with some form studies good radial shading um, but uh, before very symbolic after a little bit a little bit more like boobs a little bit more boob like the balance light is a little bit off here but uh, I hope you get the idea how would you draw asymmetrical breasts without it looking like poor anatomy? By doing too much asymmetry. I think that's how you would get that poor anatomy look. A slight little shift. It's all about measurement. You get out your measuring vertical and horizontal lines. It's just a little bit of a shift over without it looking like the breasts are completely due from two different people. Um, uh, so having a little bit of asymmetry in the size of the breasts, in the nipple shape, in the... Um, angle or the ele like one breast can be slightly higher one breast can be slightly smaller slightly is a word here that represents the nuance and the care that a professional takes in their measurement so slightly might not be in your vocabulary yet what you're slightly might be at a professional's extreme you have to redefine what slightly means so that you're doing it as gracefully as possible and your asymmetry is asymmetry not or, or a functional asymmetry, not a dysfunctional asymmetry, as long as it's still functional. <clears throat> should the breasts be drawn last when working with the female torso? I believe so. I believe you should get a good idea of where the torso is, where the rotation is. Don't rotate the breasts before you know where the torso is. You're just going to erase it and draw it again. Trust me on that. Whether you're sketching or rendering, figure out where the torso is first. Um, should the right sides or ribs be darker to be more similar to the armpit? Um, yes, that's the side. That's the side. Uh, oh, my right click isn't working. That's the side that we talked about right at the start of the class. Now we just darken slightly. It just depends where the light is. And now just darken there. And then I would put some light up here because that's just the side of the light catching so yes let's move on um, here you have a good representation of the um, where the core shadow is but it kind of like conveniently travels around the breasts instead of right through them a core shadow cuts through a core shadow a core shadow doesn't give a shit. <laughs> okay, it just cuts right through. Right? It's right at the base of the breast. Sometimes, depending on the light, it might not. You have to think about the light direction, but I'm basing this all off a really universal top down light source. This here, too much of a seam. Chill out with that. No chest light. The chest is getting some light. It's part of an upward facing torso. The torso tilts upward. And then we've got the light at the top. You've got this line which I've talked about as a line that you have to blend downwardly. See that? So you're left with this beautiful edge. If you guys aren't doing like edge studies, if you guys aren't into the edge thing yet, that's your, I was telling a student earlier, your radial shading and your edge work are your left and your right and left hands and are, they're your hands. That's what you paint with. So if you have bad awareness of where edges go and you haven't replaced your lines with edges yet, you have no business painting a full body. You need to move into some really defined edge studies based off reference. Okay, so, uh, you know, not just reference, just anything, anything really, a, a sketch, a diagram, a trace over diagrams, form studies, do whatever you have to do to build up opportunities for you to mess around with an edge, to learn an edge. So there's that downward C shape to the breasts. Classic breasts, old age, renaissance painting breasts are not breasts. All right? Draw the natural breast, not the sculpted Grecian 
goddess breast. All right, this breast is actually in uh, perspective. So we'd be seeing some of it kind of pushed up with the torso. And this right here is pushed up. <clears throat> and then we've got this here. Then we've got the light at the halfway mark for the core shadow. Remember, this is like I'm blocking in, right? I'm blocking in with a soft brush. There's no way you can block with a soft brush, but if you can manage to create zones and regions. And this whole value shared section here needs to get cut off. Where is the light coming from? That's the direction the cast shadow will move in. And the cast shadow starts off sharp and finishes off tapered. Breasts are tricky because it's testing your edge work and your radial shading. Again, what are those? Your left and right hands in art. That's the bread and butter. That's the beginning and the end. The alpha and the omega of being able to draw is good edges and good radial shading. When to blend and when not to blend. Write that back to me. Right, so upward C shape, downward C shape, or downward C shape, upward C shape, it's hard to tell. Remember that cast shadows belong to the object receiving them, so if the torso is under a lot of light, then the cast shadow is going to be a little bit lighter. And then you've got that terminator line, I'm just going to add it in artificially instead of accidentally, or gracefully taper that. The chest, I would bring down the entire value of this body. It's just a bit too light starting out. I would darken everything. So where we are placing light is a bit more intentional setup. So a big jump from where it was before, but very symbolic. And after, more sculpted. Trust your reference, whatever your reference is telling you. This area is still a little bit too dark. I'm not sure what it is you're doing. The side of the chest is a little bit off the stomach fold. Um, find your reference again and post this again with your reference. If you guys are getting flagged, uh, just submit this stuff to me on Facebook. I've told you guys, hand in your work on Facebook. Um, downwards E shape, upwards C shape. These are the C shapes. I'm being very careful where, where I end this one. So this or this is a more realistic breast. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's move on. This one has is failing on all the frontiers. Okay, so <laughs> apart from all the detail that you've dressed this up with, which I've told you guys about before, you can add all the little sparklies and dots you want. It's not going to help make this painting look any better. What's making it look better is the form and accurate presence of core shadows. So what are we doing? This is front view facing breasts and I'll try my best to reveal the two C shapes for the, for the person who asked about it earlier. So it's mostly about this C shape right here and this C shape. You can see some of the upper C shape from front view. Definitely. At least if the, if the arms are tucked in on the side. If I get any inappropriate comments on my upload after I upload this video, any inappropriate comments, you are also getting hidden from my channel. Anyone who uh -oh, comments on this video, who says disgusting things, I'm not like any other YouTuber. I don't stand for that because I'm a female teacher at this point. Right, you're making a point. It's not just you among men making funny jokes. I'm not a male YouTuber, so I have to be a little bit more careful in what I allow what people to say to me. If I feel like joking, I'll let you guys know. You'll be able to tell maybe in after hours and make a couple of jokes, but definitely not sexual harassment. Definitely not on my teaching channel. And definitely not with someone you don't know, doesn't know you. If this was a channel of education that you feel like now you lost with your 
bad behavior, that's your fault. The world is changing and people are starting to wake up a little bit, be a lot more, a lot more intolerant of, of disrespect. Okay, so I'm fixing the torso area for the stomach, moving back up into the breasts. You're drawing those corset breasts against so there are breasts that have clothing affecting them and then there's breasts that are just falling normally. Even with breasts that are wearing a bra, for instance, they would not be that much pushed up unless it's like a ridiculous bra. So you see how I'm giving it a really, really basic t uh, light? I really don't know where your light direction was. You really should, should just jump into some form studies soon. of disgusting creeps. I do want to go back and delete all of my face reveals. I know I've dressed very modestly in them. I want to go back and delete them. don't want to be a girl, uh, like I've seen only as a girl, the girl teacher. I want to just be teacher. I didn't want people to see a girl. I wanted people to just know me as who I am as a mind, as a teacher, as a friend. I will not promote or tolerate, even in the slightest bit, even laugh it off, comments like that about me or any other female member of my community. My mods have been instructed to be completely intolerant as well. Core shadow, bounce light, cast shadow. C shape, upper and lower. And then blending. This alone has expanded kind of the, the skill set you're representing in your work. That's just these changes alone. The dark background, the pale color of the values on the painting that you drew, the high contrast dependency, you, you're suffering from a lot of the beginner mistakes, a lot of them. So if you are dealing with beginner mistakes right now, you should be going back into my channel and looking for beginner mistake videos looking for form study videos, looking for basic stuff, go into some organic and geometric form studies, learn how to pick up cues for gradients and when to blend and when not to. You need to relearn all the basics. Okay. Um. Your channel, your rules. I'm sorry you have to go through all that. It's okay. It's okay. You have self-respect and I love you for that. Your lessons are often more than just art. You have some great life lessons in there too. Thank you, Allie. By the way, she is meant to be anorexic, but I clearly failed at doing that. But I wanted her boobs to be saggy. Um, you need a reference for that. You need some references for something that particular. Um, if you're not using references and you're guessing and you don't have a good grasp over your edge work and your radial shading, you, you're, you're literally stabbing in the dark. You are walking blind. I'm going to show you guys an instance of radial shading for the chest area here. So brush number one, number two, number three, four, five, to show that slight little pocket, that little crease. And I'm going to erase with a hard round. Take a look at what results. See that form and that stacking? Now the shape is perfectly circular. I need to fix that. That's not natural. It's more like unnatural, uh, like a plastic surgery kind of stuff. And the cast shadow outlined. A little bit of a lighter touch with the, sorry, my brush is so out of control. Okay, so that's radial shading. That's what I'm telling you you don't have right now. You need to learn how to do that. You need to learn how to do what I just did. You need to learn where to do that, when to do that, when one object is in front of the other. All the breasts that you guys have ever looked at and thought were beautiful breasts, or beautiful like Aphrodite breasts, were very natural breasts, breasts that had a degree of sag to them. 
A breast that doesn't sag is not a breast. It's, it's made of another kind of material, which is what plastic surgery does to breasts. It's not a malleable substance anymore. It becomes a solid substance. They have this disgusting look to them. So, you know, go for the natural. Love yourself. Love you as you are naturally. You know, all that business. And uh, look at more natural representations. A little bit more of an edge here. It's better when your portfolio has humans in it, right? Okay, so I hope this class was helpful to you guys. Though I am not editing out any of the messages that I delivered today in regards to that pervert, that basically sexual harassment, um, I apologize that you guys had to witness that. I apologize that you guys had to um, endure that. Uh, for those who were polite enough not to complain about it. Um, and uh, I usually don't do classes that have this much of a reaction to them, but this happened just today and I couldn't ignore it. I need to get this message out there. If you feel that anyone is harassing you or anyone has targeted you sexually uh, because of a study that you did or or is, is re reacting sexually to your study in the community um, by saying, oh, she's hot, or that's a sexy study, report them, and I will take care of them. It's no, There's no space for you to react sexually to a member of the community uh, or, or their art that, that they're posting. I not only not allow porn and other disgusting stuff in my channel, I don't allow sexual reactions in my channel. There is no space for sexual reactions for any of the art that we study. We study nude bodies. If you're not mature enough to understand that the human body is beautiful and we're studying it as an anatomical subject, um, you can get the hell out of the channel and leave everyone alone, okay? So thank you everyone for joining. Um, I will uh, look at more anatomy-based stuff using Portrait Studio, so I'm actually putting it to use now that I went through it with Ubla, who taught me how to use it thoroughly. I finally found some time to really get into it. Um, and uh, so for next session, what we're going to do is choose a pop part, like a body part that the artist or student, like the, the student artist drew. <laughs> I don't want to insult them and say student, not artist. Um, and actually take it into Porch Studio and rotate the cube uh, properly. Um, and then use the mannequin as well to fix certain areas. So if one area is rotated wrong, I'll rotate the mannequin and put it in. Um, and hopefully just show you guys, uh, because what, what the thing is with rotation, that's the biggest issue that students deal with, with anatomy is rotation and perspective. Rotation is perspective, perspective is rotation. Um, we can't do that without a model, right? So that's why we have Porsche Studio, and that's what's going to be the biggest theme for, for Thursday's class. So because I didn't look at any photo, like referenced, extremely photo referenced work, don't photo reference too much. What I'm trying to diagnose is the knowledge you have in your brain. If you're f copying a photo exactly, you're not revealing anything to me. You're hiding. Um, you're hiding your mistakes if you depend too much on a photo. You need to show me what, what's in that brain. I'm not interested in what it, what it, what it can do with a, with a photo reference if it's just going to copy every pixel. I'm interested in what your brain has to offer a canvas by itself, independently. So a lot of the references that, you, that we looked at today were overdone. You should use references minimally. It's a very tricky rope walk, um, trying to figure out how much reference to use and not use, just as a general. Uh, so post your stuff. If it looks a little bit too referenced, we will know. And post it. Make sure one of the rules of the community is to post with your references. Post your references alongside. You do get, uh, your, your art is denied if you're not posting your references. I don't know if the mods have been clear with that. <clears throat> so Thursday's class, do some gesture studies. It can be sketches, it can be fully rendered figures, it can be um, uh, limb studies or, or, or muscle studies. Go for it. Thursday is going to be the figure day to finish off our um, figure week and, and uh, all the anatomy week. Or we can just continue it if you guys continue posting homework. Uh, we can always go back to 14-day challenges and portraits. I think I've just pretty much covered portraits a lot this year. We need to start talking about bodies and, and figure studies, male, female. You can post male, of course, not just about breasts. And if you want to continue your breast studies, though, for Thursday, for anyone who hasn't finished their study, post it for Thursday. Um, and that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please don't forget about the Portrait Studio sale. The, the challenge for this community is up. Please go to the community to join it. 
Um, so the challenge is an in complete environment drawing. It's basically pole vaulting, characters that use a pole to travel around their environment. It's a beautiful opportunity for some uh, uh, gestures, for some really, really high motion gestures, high energy stuff. It's an amazing opportunity to paint with a low camera because the way that pole vaulters are uh, filmed in the Olympics is with a low camera. So you get to see that lower uh, aspect of the way the back contorts and then bends back and avoids the avoids that pole. Um, uh, it's, it's just a beautiful sport and the way the bodies have, have, have been uh, evolved so that, not evolved, but like transformed so that they can uh, pole vault easier and this character that you're designing can be um, an unusually, like a humanoid, they can be a humanoid, they can be unusually built to, to be perfect for pole vaulting. So you're going to be looking at references of pole vaulters and how you can exaggerate their features and their measurements so that they pole vault even better. These can be colossal landscapes. That, I mean, it would be ridiculous if the stick was like a kilometer long. The point is that they have high agility and a pretty small little pole that they're um, using to get around the rock structures. But the rocks can be massive. There can be either canyons they have to jump over or elevations they have to climb the way a goat climbs and scales the side of a mountain. It's your choice. It can be a jungle. It can be trees. It can be whatever really that you that you need it to be um, for your character. The character must reflect the environment. The environment must reflect the character. It is not a character design illustration. There should be 70% environment, 30% character in your canvas. We're not here for a character turnaround. And if it's a leveled camera, you fail. Um, so make sure you're exploring in every aspect. This is a full-on illustration. It's, it's very similar to the last challenge that we did. Um, there's a lot of rewards and there will be, um, um, uh, it's just a wonderful experience for uh, your portfolio. It's a great place for, again, I don't know if I'm going to be putting the, the, the polls up um, so that you guys choose the winner this time, but, um, but please go for it. Figure out where, how much time you need between now and the first. If you guys are all having trouble finishing your illustration before the first, please let me know in this in this uh, uh, announcement here so that I can extend it or maybe you know just see how the progress is. If I feel like you guys will make it by the 2nd of October, I will leave it on the 2nd. Um, take care, Sabra. I can't wait for the next critique hour. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for your support. Thank you for those who didn't um, make me feel like I had to censor you know, myself, um, my own channel, um, uh, in response to that harassment. Um, I really appreciate you guys and your support. It's been a really, really rough summer and I've had a lot of stress and a lot of pressure in my life that has made it very difficult to, um, make deadlines and, and complete work and you know, the back pain and all of that is just really all reaching this apex. It's like testing my threshold testing my ability to make it to classes, public or private. I still make it, but it's getting harder each time. And, um, but you guys make it so easy. When I get there, when it, when I do make it to the class and I'm there teaching you guys, it's worth it because it means that, <clears throat> you know, I, I thought about class just as the work. I didn't think about it as you guys, but when I get there, I remember, oh, it's, it's you guys. You guys are there too. It means a lot. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Good luck with all your homework submissions. Thank you, everyone. Bye.